Hello my friends. Today I'm going to be doing a swipe on one of my favorite shapes and size canvases, round 16 inch. Um, I painted the edges black because my swipe color is going to be black and I'm going to do kind of a warm and cool side and what else? I'm using Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paints and I've diluted them with a glue and Floetrol mix just to make them stretch. I mean, they're, they're not inexpensive. There's a pretty good amount in here, over 16 ounces, but they're still um, kind of pricey. So I'm frugal and I like to make them stretch and I've found, I've used this formula before, it worked very well, so I'm hoping to it'll work again. What else can I tell you? Um, I have added a little silicone to the swipe color. I have about four ounces of black mixed here and I've added four drops of silicone. None in the rest of them. I've diluted them all the same. I'll put the details down below in the description box. I'm going to um, use this bit of plastic to swipe with and it's just a little short of the width, just like a quarter inch. But that won't be an issue because I'm going to also um, be tilting the canvas a bit. I don't want just a, a black line in the middle with, you know, I want I want to tilt, tilt it around a bit and uh, change the shapes of the cells and get a little movement in the painting as well. So I think I'll start with the warm side. I have more cool colors than warm. Um, they're all straight from the bottle with the exception of the green was just too green. So I add a little white to it to lighten it up a bit. And then I wanted to make um, a fifth color of warm and I mixed what I was hoping was a red violet, but I added way too much blue. So now it's a, it's a pretty color, but it doesn't go with those. So I'll add it over here. So, so I'll do a little less than half with the warm colors and see what happens. So here we go. Probably mixed way more than I need. But I can do a smaller one if I have leftovers. If I have leftovers, who knows? Maybe I'll even, I think I'll do the swipe. I think I'll do the warm side. Swipe it. And flip it around and do the other side. I actually painted um, the edges and then I brought it in and then I thought, oh, I'll just cover the whole thing. And then I realized, well, I don't want black underneath these nice colors. <laughs> so I had to kind of clean it off. So that was fun. I've got plenty. I, I hope this works because um, I'll be doing another one. Okay, now I'll move that around a little bit. I'm going to get black on my hands because this isn't dry yet, but well, okay. I want to fill in those gaps. It's actually going over the edges really nicely. Maybe I didn't need to put black around there. Oh well. Okay, that's good. So here we go. Black, as I said, has some silicone in it.
Okay. I think I have plenty of black there to swipe on the other side as well. Okay. I know. They're cool colors. I won't be able to tilt them to fill in the gaps, so I'm going to do a little better coverage. <laughs> I say that, and I, I did a terrible job right there. Let's see if it will go together. That's an easy fix. Here's that weird color. I think it might be pretty. I'm a big fan of these paints. Um, once in a while they go on sale when, when they put all their Artist Loft paints on sale. You can get these. If not, I buy them one at a time at 40, using a 40% off coupon. So that's good. That's coming along nicely. I don't want to run short, so I'm going to add just a little bit more black. Swipe with across the middle. Boy, I've got lots of paint left. I'll be Doing some more. Okay, now I'm going to use a clean piece of plastic on the other side, and here we go. Pretty. Even the swipe thing is pretty. Can you see that? I don't want to hold it over the painting, but <laughs> that's quite pretty. Okay. Got my water. Okay. Now, see, this is. I mean, I could leave it like that. It's it's lovely, but I I don't think I want that big black stripe across the center, so I put gloves on, and uh, tilt it. Maybe I'll hit it with the 
torch first. Oh my goodness, there's some really pretty cells. I like little cells like these. I don't mind stretching them to make them a little bigger, but um, I like just the sprinkly look of small cells. Okay. I'll walk around here to see what what you're looking at. How does it look? Yeah. Okay, now what to do? I'm just going to move it a little bit to try to give some movement here. Fix this bottom here where it's a little thin on paint. Okay, I'll move it. This is the scary part. I want to change up that black center. So I'm moving the blue into it. That's good. That's good. I don't want to lose a lot of my, my warm there, but I'm very happy with this wavy thing going on there. Let's see if we can get that. So I lost the... Um, I lost the straight part on the black, but um, it's pretty straight on the orange. I don't know that I'm bothered by that though, but to see how the cells have grown with the stretching a little bit, I like that. Let's see what happens if I tilt this way. There just doesn't seem to be a lot of weight on the um, orangey side, the warm side. So the paint's just not moving that much. I think I should probably leave well enough alone. But you know me. I could add some more to it and swipe again, but you know what? I, I don't think I want to. I think I'm pretty pleased with this the way it is. So let me stop there and bring you in for a closer look. Turn this light off. Oh, it's really, when I turn the light off, the light from outside changes it too much. That's the real color there. It's just going to be that glare. I can't get around it. I just love the appearance of those cells. Sorry about that. And that orange. Oh. That's pretty. I, love, I just love the little tiny ones, and then they get a little larger. I like it. I'm not going to mess with it, and I won't embellish it. I don't think there's any need to. I think we'll call that done. Okay, my friends. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.